the socks came about as a dream. I woke up in the morning one day and I asked myself, can a pair of socks fit into a jar? And I tried, and I actually liked how it looked. And I decided, Dapper Monkey is going to do socks. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be an experience where you come to Dapper Monkey because you want to come to Dapper Monkey, not because you want a shirt. People started asking for more stuff. So we started bringing in pants and shirts and shoes and hats and such like things. It's actually the one-stop shop for the man. For Depper Monkey, social media is the only way. Of course, there is word of mouth, but we start from social media. We launched at 10 a.m. Our website crashed at 10.45 because of uh, the traffic we were getting from social media. And we were doing simple things like a uh, solution for the, ma for the man's fashion coming in two days, one day, then we launched. In two hours, our site was down. In an hour, we brought it back up and sold almost half of the things we had. If I'm selling a pair of shoes, I want to be able to see the shoes. How do the sole look? How does the inside look? And that's how we decided to go with Instagram first. From Instagram, we connected our Twitter and our Facebook page. 80% of our clients come from social media, for sure, for sure. But most of our clientele come from Instagram. Our largest group of customers is women. Largest group by a mile is like 70-30%. Our most popular time is Christmas because we do we normally uh, do Secret Santa campaigns. The good thing about online is you don't pay rent, you don't have to have someone sit at the shop the whole day and things like that. 